Well, my name is Lloyd, and I come from Wales. I'm here to sing you songs and maybe tell some funny tales. I might make you laugh, I might make you cry, but I promise you this, folks, I'm sure gonna try. Paddy Murphy gonna park on the yellow line, and Murphy said, don't park on the yellow line, we'll get a ticket. <laughs> and Paddy said, no, we won't. Look at that sign. Parking, fine. <laughs> Give me a letter. The mayor of Dubai banned the new series of the Flintstones. <laughs> oh yeah, because he said the people in Dubai don't get it. <laughs> but the people in Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> See you the way. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're, you're a lovely crowd. I, I, I'm not sure what to do next. I've never got this far before. But um, I was 18 years old. I was on a television show called, you may remember this back in the day. Do you remember Opportunity Knox? Does anyone remember that? Well, I actually won that at the London Palladium in 1987. I was in a double I called Ross and Davis. I was 18 years old. And uh, we won the whole series in front of 15 million people on TV. And that's how I started. And, and, and you, you look, it does. And you look in your rear view mirror and you see a sign flashing in your rear view mirror <laughs> Echelop <laughs> it's police backwards, it's in the mirror here so we'll have a, we'll have a pint, you want us to think, stay with me, alright so you look in your rear view mirror and you see another sign flashing in your rear view mirror saying POTS You got it, congratulations, sir. Yes. So, you pot, don't you? And the two coppers get out of the car, don't they? Wiping the crisps off their chest. <laughs> Where are you going at three o'clock in the morning? Oh, I said, uh, I'm on my way to a lecture. He said, you're on your way to a lecture at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I said, yes. Sometimes my wife stays up till four. <laughs> Give me a fruit and veg, you know, right? And this woman comes in and she says, young man, I would like half a grapefruit. And he's thinking, oh, for God's sake, half a grapefruit, you know. So he goes into the manager's office and the manager's sitting there and he said, listen, boss, he said, some old bag out there would like an half a grapefruit. And what he doesn't realise is the woman has followed him in. And he turns around and he looks at her and he says, and this lovely lady would like the other half. <laughs> you know, last Christmas, I bought my son an iPod. I bought my daughter an iPad. I had an iPhone. And not to leave the wife out, I bought her an eye on. I was married for a time, and married men suffer, don't they, Tom? Stand up and say, you coward, don't be afraid of her, come on. It's us and them, come on. Married do feel again. Remember in life, my friends, always remain positive, but for God's sake, test negative. Good night. Oh, yes, no, sir. Good night.